This shirt is from AGDQ 2014. And I still fit in it. Can you believe it? Hello everyone, I'm Duango AC, Keeper of Taskbot, and it has been 10 full years since I first took Taskbot to a Games Done Quick event. I cannot believe how much has changed since then, but I'm here to talk to you about the very first run we ever presented. I was not ready to be on stage. I didn't rehearse well. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but I knew I wanted to do something for Games Done Quick. AGDQ in particular benefited the Prevent Cancer Foundation. My grandmother had passed from cancer and a close friend was actively dealing with a cancer diagnosis. I desperately wanted to do something to help in some meaningful way. When I realized that I was not strong enough as a speedrunner to do a real-time playthrough, real-time RTA run, I remembered, hey, I've been part of the Task Videos community since all the way back when it was NES videos. There's a bunch of really cool tool-assisted speedruns that are out there, and they, there hadn't been any tool-assisted speedruns between Summer Games Done Quick 2011 and AGDQ 2014. So I proposed the idea of doing tool-assisted speedruns at a Games Done Quick event in the Speed Demos Archives forums, and the response wasn't exactly great. It was a couple of admins that popped in and said, oh yeah, we, we, uh, we're not going to throw that away just yet. Let's talk about it. And ultimately, we ended up with a 45-minute TAS block, a portion of time to show off tool-assisted speedruns. I picked Gradius because I wanted to show a tool-assisted speedrun that had the elements of showboating and getting really close to an enemy without dying. The idea of doing tool-assisted speedruns on real hardware was first broached in the TAS Videos forums back in 2006 by a user named Myra, who asked about the feasibility of trying to get a run to sync. But no progress was actually made on that until 2009. The first person to actually get a level to play back on real hardware was Jakku with his BS2-based device. Jakku was the very first person to get an entire level of Super Mario Bros. 1 to sync on a real video game console. So actually, the story begins back in 2007. Um, I had a Dreamcast, and I got the game Seaman. And what I did was I connected that up to my laptop's parallel port uh, so that I could go to work and it would regulate the temperature in the Seaman game and it would feed him and it would do all the things as if like a human was there doing it. But it was a, a way for me to have an aquarium that was on 24 seven. So as I was saying before. So this is the device. So this is the basic stamp. This is the connections to the, the NES. It's very it was not anything I thought was ever going to happen or be a thing other than like, oh, this is a neat project I did. In 2011, Micro 500 made his NES bot, and we were able to play back a variety of speedruns for the very first time from start to finish. Micro 500's NES bot was groundbreaking because it was the first time that an entire tool-assisted speedrun could be played back directly on the original hardware on the original cartridge. In 2013, I was preparing to show tool-assisted speedruns at AGDQ 2014, and I wanted something that was a little bit more reliable than the NES bot, which had been shown at SGDQ 2011, but had desynced a couple of times. So I talked to True about making a new replay device that was a little bit more reliable and purpose-built for events with a way of showing what button presses were being held. Uh, we didn't get all that in place necessarily right away, but uh, for the first run, but we did get it working eventually. <laughs> As I was preparing for AGDQ 2014, I knew that I wanted to not only play back a run on real hardware, but I also wanted to have a mascot. And that was something that Adelicat had initially suggested in the forum threads. After discussing with various different folks, we came up with the idea of using a Rob robot, and I ended up attaching Legos and zip ties and various different things to him, and I called him Robberry Pie, which was not the best name ever. But fortunately, Mecha Richter came around in the SDA forums and said, I am loving this Taskbot action. And from that moment on, that little guy was known as Taskbot. While I was testing True's NES SNES replay device, I was able to get Gradius to sync fairly reliably at home. Okay, can somebody go get my NES? <laughs> we didn't rehearse enough. I got on stage, I started the run, I started talking, and I hit a moment where... I had no idea what to say next, because I honestly hadn't watched the run enough to practice and to rehearse and to know what was coming next. I shouldn't even talk. This is just too awesome to watch. Yeah. Now that we're about to <laughs> <show up. laughs> That was it. 
I had no idea what a Games Done Quick event was even going to be like. I was starting to get into a, a pattern of, of communication with the camera without feeling totally overwhelmed. And then the run desynced. And so we, we, we moved on, and then we tried it again. And it desynced again. Here's the postmortem. We had a setup where the console was quite far away from Taskbot, who was holding the controllers, basically. And we had a lot of people on, on the couch that we, we strung the mics up and over the top of the controller cables. And when you watch the desyncs, they both happen around the time the audience starts clapping. <laughs> Uh, this is awesome. It, oh my goodness, we no. desynced. Okay, can we'll never know for sure, but that's our best theory of what happened. Gradius, our very first run at any Games Done Quick or any other charity event, was an unmitigated failure in one sense, and yet it was a huge success. There were more runs that happened next that did work, and for those, you'll just have to come back for the next Taskbot Revisited.